Hello and welcome once again to RimWorld. Gonna start the uh, game straight away. Now we've still got a bit of work that I left off on the last episode. Uh, I'm recording this one straight after so I don't have to sort of re-specify that I want all this built. Uh, it is slightly annoying that we don't have any of the actual stone bricks required to do it. Ambrosia Sprout, where'd that happen then? Uh, never mind. I right clicked. I did the wrong thing. Uh, oh, we need a research project. Uh, cryo sleep caskets, please. We have almost finished all of the research. Uh, so that's kind of awesome. We've got what? One, two, three more things? Wow. That's pretty good. I'm actually impressed with that. Um, now, we could... Hmm. Ah, awesome! The uh, Plasteel and Trade Caravan here. Now, I'm thinking build a ground penetrating radar. That can be in this room, sure. So that can go just there. Uh, because there are minerals under the ground that I've not actually dug out yet, and uh, I may as well make use of them. Uh, I won't say no to a muffler. Um, been dead a while, but you know. My people need food sometimes. Uh, so, trade caravan first, so you're up. So, Rena. Would you mind uh, going to trade with them, please? Hopefully they'll come inside, please. No. Damn you. And the mining lubricant guys are down there again. You're going to stop there, and you're going to stop there, aren't you? Just to be difficult. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Right. Uh, sell that little bit of hay that for some reason won't stack with the rest. Uh, I am going to sell some of our meals because we have a lot of them. Um, tell you what. We'll start with... 1,377. That is a lot of your money. Nice. Uh, right, now all my drugs. Because, yeah... And the alcohol. That may as well sell the random bits of uh, plant that we haven't made into stuff. We've only got 55 alcohol? That sucks. I thought we'd have more than that. I suppose we keep using it. Uh, right, all the dead man's clothes next. We do manage to make quite a lot of money just on meals. Which is both a good and bad thing. It's good that, you know, I mean, meals are pretty much a renewable resource, you know. We've got unlimited power which grows the food unlimitedly, and that food is turned into an unlimited number of simple meals. Brilliant. But, you know, being so high on the list, I sort of sell all that before I ever get to the stuff that should sell really well like all the sculptures and stuff like that. Wow, well, we've got a lot of random bits of clothing that are either really bad or sort of random percentiles. And some dead man stuff just shoved in the middle. Fine. I wish there was an easy way to do this. There's a couple of mods that sort of have um, a thing where you can set up to sell certain things instantly. But the problem that I have with those sort of things is it doesn't really take into account how much money the uh, traders have. So then I'd just end up going through the list doing the reverse, saying not to sell stuff because the traders can't afford it all. 
Although, they might manage to buy all of this. Ah, oh, Almost all of it. Right. Thank you very much. Money, money, money. <laughs> right. Now go trade with those guys. Now, I'm really hoping all that money there actually counts towards my total. So I've only got 1,200 gold. Oh, sorry, no, 12,000 gold uh, in here. We've got another, what, 30,000 there. So hopefully it'll tell me I've got like, you know, 30 odd or 40 odd thousand to trade with. It doesn't. Damn you. But if we bought all of your. Oh wow, we don't even cover all of our money if we bought all of your. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, right. People, come and prioritize hauling this. Just everyone grab some. Except, I think, Chavez, because Chavez don't haul. Ah, no, it's Toxo that will never haul. And if someone didn't... There we go. That's uh, a couple of thousand of it hauled, at least. So once we've got most of that, or at least up to about 27,000, I'll go trade with these guys, and... Uh, we'll end up with all of their plasteel which we need because our plasteel stocks are ridiculously low at the moment now, where, where are you all going? Oh, I suppose yeah you can all have breakfast uh, well, Lippy, no? come and haul more We really want this stuff all. Like, was any of it actually hauled the first time? It doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, we did. It's just the pile is bigger than I thought. Fair enough. No, come on. People, keep coming and getting more. Because I really need to do this before the mining group decide to walk away. Wow, of all of the flipping bits, I managed to choose the exact same one that... Wow. Well, at least they're inside my building at the moment. Right, I've got 21,000 currently. Uh, boost, come and get some more. Muffalo, come and get some more. Toxo won't do it. Hawk. Right, Renner. Just to make sure I manage to trade with these guys before they leave. Where is the... Wow, what attacked you guys? Or did you have a fight between yourselves? Right. There we go. That's just to make sure I get some of it at least before they leave. Because um, the last thing I want is for them to leave. And I then get none, but I've given them several thousand silver just to turn up. Although, we still need to collect the rest of that pile. I mean, who is on... Uh, ...work? Okay. You know what, you can be on a two for hauling. No, our builders, I think, stay at a three. Or at least Lippy and Eddie. Uh, can stay at a 2 and a 3 because they're our main builders and Raf can stay at 2 because I really do want him crafting whenever he has the chance 
Everyone else, though, can go to a one on hauling. I know we've got a lot of hauling to do in regards to moving stuff just from here to here. Oh, wow, beavers. Not a lot of beavers, though, so that's not too bad. But yeah, I do really want this stuff. See? They're now leaving. So I might have missed my opportunity to buy everything. Oh, really? A solar flare? God damn you. So, solar flare, as uh, you probably know, shuts down all electrical equipment, even if I have power. Yeah. I hate solar flares. I think they're a stupid thing in the game. Eclipses, I can understand, because, you know, there's ways to mitigate around those. Like, if there's an eclipse, I can have other power sources and things like that. So it doesn't destroy my sort of base. But solar flares? Oh no, that's it, you know. All your defences are off. Your fridge is off. You know doesn't matter that you've got like 700 meals that are going to rot in three days. You've got a solar flare that's going to last for four. <laughs> and yeah, you could build like, uh, where are we? If I can find it. Passive coolers. But they don't actually work that well. Like, not compared to an actual cooler. So I'd end up filling half of the room with a passive cooler, which kind of takes away from the whole point of the room, because, you know... Oh dear god. Is this just the environment hates me? Like, is that what I'm playing now? The environment hates me, get over it. Because <laughs> that's what it feels like. Okay. Right. Animal area 2. will be this room. Now, I'm pretty sure no other area is covered. Yeah, no. Right. Uh, manager. Uh, why have we even got cows still on there? Delete. Buffalo. All of you into animal area two, please. And that device can also be reinstalled in this area for them to feed on. Right. Area one. So this is obviously going to be for my colonists. Yeah, they're not allowed in these rooms. Oh, all my plants are going to die. Oh well, doesn't matter. Now my colonists can go in all of those areas, all along there, in that room. Right. The other thing I need to do is to make sure this area is actually roofed in. Something that I had completely forgot to do until now, actually. Okay. Uh, actually, I suppose they can go in here as well. Um, because all of that is uh, roofed in as well. Isn't that nice? And I'm not going to let them go to this one because there's no way for them to reach it. Um, right. Animals, why are you over there now? 
I, I woke you up. Why are there muffalos in there? At no point should they be in there. I don't even know anymore. Never mind. Um, area 1. The only places I don't want my guys to go is there. Because they are exposed to the outside. Um, and if you don't get what I'm doing, uh, with the toxic fallout, it hurts and damages anything that isn't under a roof. So even though this area here is exposed to the outside, people won't actually get sick because they'll be under a roof. Sounds stupid, I know, but it works. Uh, so, everyone is restricted to animal area, oh sorry, not animal area, area 1. And I'm really hoping, there they go, there's the rest of the muffalo waking up. Good. Um, assign. Not the animals, assign. Which thing did I, there it is. Uh, Lippy, you're allowed to go unrestricted for the moment. Because I really would like you to move that. IO port. And after that you can be restricted. Uh, why did you do that? Oh, because I restricted you to the wrong thing. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, so people shouldn't get sick walking under the roofed area, even though, as I say, it's it's exposed to the outside. Which, yes, is kind of dumb, but again, it works, so I'll just go with it. Uh, wow, they've already cleared all the plasteel. Nice. Not complaining. Now, I will keep an eye on my people's health and see if they're getting toxic build up. I doubt they will though. Wow. Oh that's the other thing of course. So many animals are going to die because of the toxic fallout. See look, already got initial build up. Then again there aren't a lot of animals about other than this massive herd of boomalope. Why is my map so full of boomalopes? Like, that's 21 of them. What the hell? Well, when they fall ill, they might explode. A grizzly bear self-tamed. Okay. <laughs> Go to animal area 2, please, grizzly bear. <laughs> the grizzly bear saw that none of my people or animals were getting sick, and he's like, I want to be with them. Fair enough. You may join us. I might make you, uh, you know, I might turn you into sort of my meals. I don't know. Where is the grid? Uh, I told you to go to animal area. Oh, that's Animal Area 2 as well. Okay. That's why there was a problem. Didn't realise that was Animal Area 2 as well. That explains it. Item stash opportunity. Yeah, not really a concern of mine at the moment, considering toxic fallout. Right, there we go. And slaughter the bear which shouldn't try and hurt me in the process of slaughtering it. At least I don't believe it will. Uh, 
Yeah, this episode has turned into sort of PVE. <laughs> it's fun when Randy decides that, you know, decides that it's time to sort of try and kill me off. Because it does happen occasionally. I suppose all around these buildings, wherever I've got footpaths, I can have like a roof or a roofed area. Now, some places will be, you know, just no roof because I really don't want a roof there or there. And again, actually, this area. And stay as it is. That one, I suppose, yeah, will roof. But this one, I want open because I want uh, deliveries to land here. I also want, you know, a clear shot from my cannons. So, just fill all that in. Why am I even doing that? Just cover the entire building quicker and it works better, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it makes sense not extending outside of a wall or anything on the outside, but everywhere else, yeah, it doesn't actually matter. Especially as these guys just, like, how quick they put up roofs is ridiculous. Well, now we've got all that extra plasteel, we will hopefully start making some more uh, components and stuff for people. Uh, talk about components. Eddie. Uh, I believe I've got another exoskeleton. Yes, I do. So, uh, it's your turn. Because again, it's nice having my builders can move faster and, you know. And Chavez is doing the work, lovely. You'll be fine, Eddie. There we go. So, just like Lippy, you've now been enhanced. Your movement and ma uh, manipulation is higher. And a mad animal has decided that it wants to attack me. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> that didn't end well for the animal. Uh, but that's where I'm going to end this episode, guys. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you next time.